in the revision of uh, Mathematics 1 and Physical Science, the paper that was done in June, July 2023. Uh, this paper contained eight questions, normally contained eight questions. You are required, uh, of course, four from section A as well as four from section B. The first section is always physical, I mean, mathematical one, mathematics one, and the second section is uh, physical science. So you can choose two from section A, mathematics, or two from two questions. It's compulsory for you to choose two from section A as well as two from section B, and one from either side. So particularly, we are going to revise on the mathematics, and so far we are on number 2B. Uh, so 2B, uh, we, we, we were asked to expand using binomial expansion. So the, the, the topic is binomial uh, expansion. So the question, the question that we were given is of this kind, that say, use the binomial theorem to expand 1 minus a third x raised to a third up to the, th up to the term x raised to power 3. Hence, hence evaluate uh, the cube root of 0 0.97 correct to four decimal places. So uh, given this kind of question, we have to apply the, the, the binomial expansion uh, that says, we are going to apply this equation that says 1 plus a, uh, when 1 plus a raised to n, or uh, any term, it, it can be well as, uh, one, if you want to expand it, it will, be for, it will follow this series here, it will follow this series, 1 plus a, so 1 plus n, a, our n, remember, is this, this n, raised this n, and a is a, this one. So plus n in bracket n minus 1, we close the bracket, a squared over 2 factorial, uh, plus n, n, we open the bracket, n minus 1, close the bracket, n minus 2, we close the bracket, and as well as a raised to 3 over 3 factorial. For our case, for our case, for our case here, uh, a will be negative a third, x as well as n will be uh, a third. Remember this expression will always hold if the first term is 1. So assuming that we were not given one, uh, a 1 here, we, we can always make this the first term here to be 1. Uh, we can make it, I'm sure we can be able to make it 1. So if you make it 1, then this, uh, this uh, function here will apply. So this is the equation that this is the formula that we are going to use. Uh, basically, our equation says 1 minus a third x raised to a third. So for our case here, uh, n is a third as well as a is negative a third x. So it will be 1, this 1, plus n a, our n is uh, a third, and our a is negative a third x, plus n in bracket n minus 1 uh, raised to a, I mean a raised to squared over 2 factorial. So again, our, a, our n is a third, it will be a third, we open the bracket, a third minus 1, we close the bracket, we open the bracket also, and we finish by a raised to 2. Our a is negative, uh, a third x, so it will be negative, a third x squared all over 2 factorial. Plus, a third in bracket, uh, this, remember this is n, n minus 1, n minus, n minus 2, a raised a cubed over 3 factorial, so we have a third a third in bracket a, a a third in bracket a third minus one. We close the bracket. We open the bracket again. A third minus two. Um, uh, close the bracket. We open the bracket again, and we have negative uh, a third x cubed as uh, the value of our a. Our a is negative a third uh, x cubed. Uh, and for this case, we divide by three factorial. Remember when we talk about two factorial, meaning it is 2 by 1. When you talk about 3 factorial, it's 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. Uh, so far, this is it. So we are going to simplify this further. We are going to simplify this uh, expression and we'll have 4. So we'll have 1 minus x over 9 minus x over 81 plus 5x cubed over 20. 2,187. So, uh, if you simplify this expression, you will be able to get this. You should be able to get this. 
And then so far we have now solved the first part of the equation. We have solved the part the first part of the equation that says use the binomial theorem to expand uh, one minus a third x raised to a third up to the term x uh, raised to power three. So far we have uh, up to this point we have solved the first part of the problem. And the, and then the second part of the problem the problem says uh, hence evaluate. And we know evaluate the cube root of 0 0.97 correct to four decimal places. Uh, from low of indices we know, from low of indices we know this term can as well be written as 0 0.97 a raised to a third. Uh, so from the indices we know that uh, when a number is, when the, we went, the, the, end, the end root of a number can also be uh, that number raised to 1 over n. So from this problem, from our problem, uh, the cube root of 0 0.97 can as well be written as 0 0.97 raised to a third. So having this in mind, so we equate this expression to this, and we'll have uh, 1 minus a third x raised to power 3, and raised to a third, equal to 0 0.97 raised to a third. So uh, having that in mind, so this uh, a third, this one, this power will cancel with this, this power because they are the same, they are equal, it will cancel out. And we will remain with, uh, we will remain with uh, 1 minus a third, uh, 1 minus a third x equal to 0 0.97. So we will simplify this by, uh, now uh, of course uh, we will move this to the right hand side as well as this to the left hand side. So by doing so, we'll have uh, 1 minus 0 0.97 uh, equal to a third x. Remember when, when we, we, we want to eliminate, we want to eliminate um, this from the left hand side, we will add a third x, a third x here, and also we will also do the same here. Uh, and if we add a negative a third plus a third x, uh, it will cancel out, it will be 0, and uh, a third positive a third x will, be, it will remain on this side, as well as the same will be applied on 0 0.97. So we'll have negative 0 0.7 on this side. So uh, I think this now we simplify further, we subtract uh, 0 0.97 from 1, and we'll have 0 0.03 equal to a third x. Uh, we will want to remain with the value of x on this side, so we divide by a third here, as well as divide by a third here. Or So if we do so, if we do so, we will uh, get zero point. We will get zero point uh, zero point nine x. The value of x will be zero point nine. Now having the value of zero point nine here, having the value of x as zero point nine, we can substitute here to solve. Remember the question I say. Uh, Hence, evaluate correct this correct to four decimal places. So we are going to uh, put the value of x in this equation to solve it. So we, we, where there is x, we will substitute with 0 0.09. So by doing so, we have 1 minus 0 0.09 divided by 9 minus 0 0.09 squared divided by 81 plus 5 in bracket 0 0.09 cubed divided by 2187. So uh, now we can simplify this, we can solve this, and if we solve this problem, we shall be able to get the value of, uh, we shall be able to get 0 0.9899. Uh, this is the end of this, uh, this is the end of this question. Uh, I, I, I want to make a point, a final remark that the, for this function to apply, for this uh, function to apply, the first term here must be one. So we can, if we are not, if if we, the first term in a problem is not one, we have to make it 